Suzanne, here we are sitting in the stalls of the beautiful Her Majesty's Theatre, watching the very exciting bump in of our massive set for Dear Valkura. Yes. Um, following up the success of your wonderful production of Rheingold. Thank you. So we're particularly fortunate in this case to have an all Australian cast. Yeah, it's really been so wonderful and such an incredible array of people too, to have Warwick Fife making his um, his debut, um, full debut in a production as Voltan and yeah. um, and Zara Barrett doing a wonderful job as Brunhilde, Brad Daly, a magnificent Sigmund Lee making her debut, Lee Abramson making her debut as Sieglinde. Mm. We're really, really ble blessed. And a hell of a lineup of Valkyries. Oh, incredible. Led by that leading Valkyrie, Rosamund Illing. Rosamund Illing. We have we have <laughs> such an incredible array of, uh, and Dimity Shepherd yeah, and, and... Of course, and, Sarah Sweeting is Fricker. And Sarah Sarah Sweeting sing Frida, Fricka and we also have um, we have a wonderful mix of old and new yeah. in the Valkyries too, don't we? Because well, we've some we wonderful tried. emerging artists working exactly. alongside really, really experienced seasoned professionals. Which is what we like to do at Melbourne Opera is mm. to really open the portals of the excitement of this <laughs> art form for yeah. younger artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works across the board, doesn't it? Because it gives uh, more established artists a chance to move into repertoire that they haven't necessarily totally. explored like Warwick, before. Warwick, who's yeah. one of the great Albury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you and I will agree, we'll never sing Albrick again because he's now one of the great voters. That's true, really, really. His level of detail and understanding and preparation is second to none. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So that's right, we have the, a whole lot of opportunities for artists to move into new repertoire, mm. ex experienced artists, mm. and then the young ones come through and see how it's done. Yeah. Increasingly these days, it's very hard to get those kind of opportunities now because unfortunately our profession is are contracting a little bit. Well, it's reducing. It's, mm. it's, it's it's similar to what what's happened in theatre too, where you can barely see a play with more than four or five people yeah. on stage if you're lucky. Yeah. It's a big cast. Well, in this yeah. case, we've got uh, 150 people involved. Yeah, yeah. Because I was talking to Mike Walsh, the owner of Her Majesty's, the great Mike Walsh, a great supporter of our company, mm. and he confirmed that our 90-piece orchestra is the largest orchestra they've ever had in Her Majesty's Ever. It's so good. He was talking about it excitedly as I came yeah, through stage great. door today yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, including the Sutherland Williamson season. Yeah, it's incredible. And in the 19, early 1900s, the um, Melba Williamson season, all of which played here at Her Majesty's. Yep. Um, we've been able to knock out the back wall of the pit, yep. courtesy of Her Majesty's wonderful staff, mm. and uh, accommodate the full Wagnerian apparatus here uh, with, you know, the four harps and the eight Wagner tubers yeah, and, and the yeah. full... Uh, the steer horn, everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, but still in this beautiful 1700 seat venue. So it's well, that's quite it. a unique opportunity. Yeah, yeah. It feels intimate in here though, doesn't mm. it? Like it really, the audience feel very close to the stage in a good way, I think it's, well, yeah. Actually, mm. despite the scale of it, mm. it's an intimate opera, isn't it? Well, it is, and it's actually, despite there being eight Valkyries, mm. most of the scenes are two-handers and yeah. most three-handers. Yeah, and the it's, whole first act is just a three-hander. Yeah, yeah, and it's quite a sort of tight drama too. I, I keep telling the, the singers, it's ca kind of like directing an Ibsen or something, the way, the way that it unfolds sort of in mm. minute detail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, well, we're looking forward to it very much. Mm. Um, of course, we'll be following this up with Siegfried later in the year Yep. Uh, to be get ready for a full ring cycle next year at a soon-to-be-revealed location. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> well, all the best, Suzanne. We're about to move the set for the first time. I know, we're, we're a little bit distracted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, all the best. Thanks for everything. Thank you.